Will check disk corrupt files? <laughs> no, it won't. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. I'll explain that, of course, but let's first get to the question that prompted this. I recently did a check disk scan on two hard drives with video files. The first scanned with no options checked. It did not show any details of progress except the progress bar. It got to the end and then froze, although the computer did not freeze. And the only way to exit it was to shut down the computer or reset. Do you think any of my video files got corrupted or changed in any way? With the other hard drive, I scanned four times without errors. On the fifth time, I scanned it on another computer and it said that it had a file system error. Needless to say, I did not fix that. I don't know if one of the four times before I had checked any options, but I'm thinking I had nothing clicked. Is it possible that my video files on the hard drive got corrupted or changed in any way, even if I had clicked one or both of the options? You may have problems with your video files but check disk did not cause them. I think that's really important to underlie here. Check disk is an analysis and repair tool. Much like an investigative journalist, its job is to expose corruption. It doesn't create corruption, but unlike an investigative journalist, check disk with the appropriate options selected will try to fix things that can actually result in some side effects that look like corruption, but in fact, aren't anything new on the hard disk. Check disk's job is to examine all of the files and folders on your hard disk and make sure that all of the overhead information that lets Windows determine exactly where files are on the hard disk is all correct. It's all stored properly, is all internally consistent. That's its job. That's the only thing that it is really all about. And it's one of those things that pays attention to the difference between, say, a FAT32 file system, which gets checked one way for certain things, and an NTFS file system, which gets checked a different way for certain things. Now, check disk without any options, and I'm talking specifically here about the command line version, check disk, does not do anything other than read. It's a read-only operation. If it reports errors, those errors were there already. Those errors were there before you ran check disk. It's just telling you that there's a problem here exactly how severe the problem is or which files are affected is beyond the scope of what it's going to tell you. But it's at least going to tell you that, hey, we've found some problems with the file system here. You might want to consider fixing it. That's a good time, by the way, to do a backup right then and there before you let check disk uh, try and fix anything. And you'll understand why in a moment. When you specify either the slash F or the slash R option, and slash R really just implies the slash F option, it's the fix option. When you specify slash F, check disk then, when it determines that there's a problem on your hard disk, will try to make some changes to the information on the hard disk to repair things. It may recover files. It may make sure that uh, directory listings are consistent. There may be some fragments of files that it can't associate with other things that it doesn't know where they belong. So it will actually make the data for those things available through files that it creates. But the important thing to realize here is that when check disk tries to fix a problem, it is not creating a problem. The problem was already there. The corruption was already there. Check disk is either just reporting it or trying to fix it. The reason that it's sometimes easy to think that check disk may have caused a problem is that check disk may cause an existing problem to manifest in a different way. The most common scenario is if you have a problem on your hard disk that you don't notice. You just don't know that there's a problem. You run check disk. It tells you that there are issues with the file system. You run check disk again with the slash F option and it fixes them. And now all of a sudden things don't work quite right. The problem was already there. How it was exposed has changed. What's different is that 
before running check disk with the fix operation, there was a logical problem on the hard disk. The information about the file system was incorrect. Check disk fixed it. That fix then may manifest in another way. The file system is now internally consistent. Everything, all the information about where the files and folders are on your hard disk is correct. But as a result of fixing this, as a result of making the file system internally consistent, the problem that you had, the problem that you already had may manifest in a different way. That's why I say one of the things you might consider doing when check disk reports there to be problems on your hard disk is to run a backup right then and there. Now the backup may fail depending on the kind of backup you're doing. If you could do an image backup, do it. If you can't do an image backup, do a files and folders backup, do something to back up the information on that hard disk. Run check disk slash F or slash F slash R, and then potentially do the backup again. Do another backup so that you're getting all of the information you possibly can. You may not get the same information in the two different backups. The existing corruption on the hard disk may prevent you from getting some things, and then the repair may prevent you from getting some other things. But the problem fundamentally was there all along. Check disk didn't add anything. Check disk simply changed potentially how the error manifested. Where do errors come from? Well, that's a really hard one to answer. There are a number of, I'll just call them common scenarios. Our disks, they are hardware. They are subject to hardware failures. It can happen. SSDs, for example, wear out. One of the ways an SSD or a thumb drive might manifest as having worn out is check disk failing. It being unable to correctly store the file system information. Typically, when flash memory in SSDs or thumb drives dies, it dies a little bit more catastrophically than that, but this is one way. Another way is if you've got a laptop or a hard disk, that an old style hard disk with the spinning platters and you drop it. That can cause physical damage within the hard disk. The other scenario that maybe is the more common one, it's become less common because of some changes in Windows over the recent years. But the other scenario is this is the big one that where we used to recommend you never ever unplug a USB hard drive without doing first safely remove hardware. That safely remove is all about making sure that the file system has been completely and safely rewritten or written to the hard disk and is internally consistent. If you unplug the hard disk before that has allowed to complete, then you may end up with check disk errors that will manifest at some point in the future. Hope that was helpful. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 8425. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.